All right, I'm here talking with Marie Makamal, international organizer for the UNIA. And you were the keynote speaker at the 2023 Marcos Garvey Roots Extravaganza in Fort Lauderdale yesterday. What was that event like for you? Uh, my cup overflows. That event was dynamite. It was uh, everything I had expected and a whole lot more. Um, I remember virtually every speaker, every uh, guest, you know, the exhibit, you know, the, um, you know, the backdrop, the uh, vendors, you know, had some, some dynamite products, uh, the food, I can't go stop talking about, uh, but yeah, the, you know, the resolution by the uh, commissioner and the proclamation, uh, proclamation, yeah, uh, I should say by the uh, commissioner um, for Garvey Appreciation Day. Um, you know, the singing of the anthem professionally sang, I mean, sang with power and conviction um, by my brother um, uh, down here uh, in Florida. I forgot his name, too. Um, and he just gave me his card, too. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it was a great program. It was um, children, you know, the dancing, the drumming, the um, spirit of Garvey was resurrected, for sure, in, in the uh, Roots Festival. And so... Uh, it lived up to his name and his reputation, in my humble opinion. What was your message for yeah. the extravaganza? Well, my message was focused on history because um, in Florida, you know, right now, you know, our people are contending with this new teaching standard that, um, you know, somehow misleads them into, or, or tries to mislead us into thinking that slavery, you know, was not as bad as, as we uh, know it to be. That it, that it gave us skills? Yeah, that we, we learned so many practical skills that uh, we knew nothing in Africa but climbing trees, I guess. And somehow when we came to America, he taught us carpentry. Uh, and, and the white man is our friend and, and savior. But uh, anything, <laughs> everything but that is true. And so, um, you know, I mentioned that uh, during the presentation that Ron DeSantis claims that uh, part of the teaching standard is so that the children won't have to learn the ugly truth about our uh, suffering and our misery. But, you know, the truth is, if we were strong enough to survive it, our children should be strong enough to learn about it. And, you know, I don't like him being able to dictate, you know, to the taxpayers of his city what kind of history they uh, get, you know, when it comes to their history. We don't tell them how to treat his Italian history, with his mafia uh, Mussolini history. He don't need to tell us how to teach our children about African history and the struggles that we've had and how to, you know, teach that. We need to be teaching our own children, for one, but also, um, you know, we need to have say in uh, how our, you know, tax dollars are spent in teaching the public schools, you know, uh, about our history. Uh, you've been to probably many Marcos Garvey birthday celebrations. How does it compare oh. to some of the others you've been at? Oh, it's the top. It's... it's, it's it was, you know, very arguably the best, if not, you know, uh, absolutely the best. Um, I've certainly been to Garvey Day events. Um, you know, some, you know, some years I get to go to three or four in a particular year because people don't always celebrate it on the day of his birth, but they celebrate it, you know, a few days before, a few days after. And I've been to parades. I've been all around the world for Garvey celebrations. And, yeah, this has to be, you know, thus far, not, you know, to this uh, credit or, or kind of um, you know throw any shame on any other Garvey celebrations but this you know very arguably is the best I've ever seen and it was you know packed with a lot of true Garveyism you know the people in the room were very much aware of Garvey and very much uh, practitioners of Garveyism you know so the spirit was in the air the atmosphere we even had a, a, a gentleman who dressed in full Garvey regalia uh, who came to the program and you know, I made mention that when two or more of us are gathered uh, in his name, he will be in our midst. And literally, uh, this gentleman walked in the room uh, and was in our midst. So, you know, there's something in the air down here in Florida that's generating a Garveyism that uh, we really need to rekindle uh, on, on a massive scale. And, yeah, it was it was a great program. Everybody was very familiar, uh, unlike some places where I've had to visit and teach the fundamentals of who Mr. Garvey is and what his plans and ideas were. Many in the room were already, you know, uh, over the last, I guess, 19 
years with the uh, Roots Foundation. They've been well educated about Mr. Garvey, and you know they were ready to um, embrace the message. You know, as I gave it, um, you know, thoroughly. So you know, I was happy, and yeah, I, you know, I could have sat back and just went to, you know. Relax, just enjoying everything that was going on. I almost feel I didn't have to say anything because, you know, the, the spirit of Garveyism was just, you know, permeating the air so thoroughly. So, yeah, I was pleased, pleased as punch.